I grew up here in Anderson County. I've lived here my whole life. My grandfather ran a few cows and built a little bit of hay and, and was in the process of retiring as I was getting older. I ended up kind of going in a partnership slash buyout with him and, and started in 2009 with 80 acres a week when I was a sophomore in high school. I always kind of liked planting something and watching it grow. I really, really liked plowing. I just saw an opportunity and then I always loved West Texas and, and all the big agriculture and a big part of it was the equipment. I loved the equipment. I farm corn, wheat, cotton, soybeans, hay. I run a set of Black Angus cattle. Everything that I farm I broke out of pasture or cow land. A lot of it is Trinity River bottom, just kind of heavy black clay, really, really rich farm ground. It was kind of meant for corn and cotton. We're really about 60 miles from any real, you know, large scale row crop production. And I'm the only farmer in the county. I mainly farm corn here for local poultry production, the local poultry feed mill. Uh, a lot of my corn will go even farther into East Texas, back down towards Louisiana. I actually met Braden through Farm Bureau, so thank you Farm Bureau for that. I met Jordan my first year of being a Young Farmer and Rancher District 9 committee member at my first district meeting in Nacogdoches, Texas. I met him at the dinner. He messaged me on Facebook, found me, hunted me down, and we went on a few dates. We hadn't had a pickup yet. We met in August and were engaged in March, and we got married that fall in November. I'm ongoing three years of ag teaching. I am currently at Elkhart High School. I think my favorite thing, of course I love teaching inside the classroom, but my favorite thing is working one-on-one -on -one with students outside of the classroom with their animal projects. A lot of them don't know the multitude of venues and jobs there are in agriculture, and so we like to take our time to teach those different career options. That's why we teach so many different classes. Never knew an ag teacher was as busy as a farmer, but I mean, that girl, she works daylight till dark just like I do. I love my job. Braden's a hard worker. I, I'd like to think of myself as a hard worker. And so, of course, I want to continue growing our program and then growing our farm at the same time. Maybe in the future, we'll think about growing the family a little bit, but we're both enjoying being young and just being together.